All right, so what is up guys? In today's video, I wanna bring you my thoughts on the Max Domi suspension. Hopefully most of you saw exactly what happened. If not, let me put some images at the very least to give you an idea on what the full situation is here. Cause today the NHL player safety after the meeting at 1230 just announced that Max Domi was an uh, in-phone earring. So a few hours ago, NHL player safety department announced that Max Domi was gonna be suspended for the remainder of the preseason games, which is a total of five games technically. So let's just take a look at the suspension. Is it good enough? Is it, what kind of message is it sending to players and honestly my thoughts on the incident and at any time during this video make sure you comment down below your actual thoughts on the matter i'm very curious to see exactly where you guys are going with this if you're abs fan if not i'm from montreal i like the abs even though we're going to be terrible this year but but let me just give you my two cents on the on the suspension so i think it's honestly a bit of bullshit sorry about my language here but five games five prison games mean absolutely nothing to max Domi. He's gonna play maybe two, three out of those games, technically, because those games are just for young guys to to prove themselves, see if they're ready or not, get in, the, get them up to speed with the NHL caliber, and for veterans to mostly just get their rhythm back and get back in shape and get ready for regular season games. So I was expecting Domi to play two, maybe three games. I don't see him playing all four, definitely not all five of them. And preseason has no financial penalties for Max Domi. In my mind, the suspension should have deserved was three to five regular season games. Because you gents, you can't just go to a guy, especially in preseason where the guys are just trying to get their form back, not trying to get anything crazy going on. It's more about most about the young guys trying to prove themselves. You don't go to and Blad and punch him in the face like that a few times when he clearly does not want to fight. Because why would you risk in like, what, why would you risk any sort of injury if you're Aaron Engblad this early on in the season? Especially if you're the Panthers, you have a good roster, you, you have a chance to get back in the playoff. You don't want to affect anything, especially this early in the season. It's September. So Aaron Engblad does not want to play any part, and it was clear. And you saw his face afterwards. It was bleeding. was not understanding what the <laughs> that Max Domi was trying to do here. It's preseason. You don't just go to a guy and fight him like that. Like, you just don't. Like, I, again, I like Max Domi. He's a great guy from what I can see from, like, social media and everything. When he's get, when he gets interviewed, he's a great guy. And I like Max Domi. But you can't do that. Now, this sends a message to anyone who wants to punch someone in the face that, yeah, sure, you can do it in preseason. Just miss the rest. You know, take, take two weeks off, and we'll see you back on... Uh, see, see you back when the regular season and the real games actually start. I think that's a, a common shared opinion on the Maximi suspension, but I thought it was worth sharing with you guys because even myself from Montreal, I like Max Domi. I know Montreal is going to be bad. Max Domi, you have nothing to prove here. Your spot is guaranteed. Let me tell you, your spot is very guaranteed. You're going to play first light and center. You haven't played center in years, but we don't care because we're going to give you that spot because Montreal is desperate enough to give you that spot. You don't have to prove anything. Fighting white. I know your dad is Tai Domi and he was a great fighter and everything, but you don't have to do anything, especially not this early on. That's just not worth it for me. I don't care what Aaron and Gladman have said to you on the ice or whatever. I don't know if there's a, any backgrounds to between those two guys in terms of but I don't see Aaron and Glad being that type of guy. So I'm very weird to see Max Domi trying to get to him. And honestly, if Aaron and Glad would have taken you up on the offer of fighting you, he's bigger, <laughs> he's taller, so it's clearly a weird situation here and definitely not a suspension worthy enough of the action taken by Max Domi in yesterday last game. Like I just I just don't agree with it. And I'm, I'm I would be I saw a few Montreal fans and from what I can see from Montreal they honestly they're happy because they're they're feeling they they're getting away with something here. But I just don't like the type of message it's sending to other players and I just don't like the suspension at all because that's not the way I want the league to head towards and to like where this is going. And I just disagree with it. So that was just my quick video on it. Again, at any time, again, feel free to comment exactly your thoughts. You can disagree with me. Like I would understand to be honest, but I think five preseason games is not enough, especially for something this big. And it honestly, like I don't understand why Max Demi would do something like that, like I said. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later and you take care.